Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. You're watching King 5 News at noon. We get started with a major incident at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation in eastern Washington, a tunnel collapse that prompted hundreds of workers to take cover. A Hanford spokesperson says no one was injured, but there's still a lot of uncertainty about the impacts of this emergency. King 5's Ted Land joins us live from the newsroom with the latest on this. Ted. Well, Mark, a worker at Hanford just sent us some clips showing the evacuation. Let's take a look. Well, so <clears throat> it's either a drill or an emergency. Hundreds of workers took cover after part of a railroad tunnel collapsed. A Hanford spokesperson says this incident is confined to a small area of the nuclear site. They say there are no reports of injuries, no reports at this point of a radiological release. That tunnel leads to a former plutonium uranium extraction plant. And the spokesperson tells us they're investigating a section of soil that sank this morning. We understand the tunnel was full of contaminated materials such as hot radioactive trains that transport fuel rods. An emergency operations center has been activated as the Department of Energy and first responders try to determine the impacts of this collapse. Roughly 200 workers are on site. They were told to get indoors as soon as possible. A manager sent a message to everyone telling them to secure ventilation in their buildings and then refrain from eating or drinking. Oh, Repeat, yeah. this is an emergency. Take cover immediately. All personnel should refrain from eating or drinking until told it is safe to do so. Governor Jay Inslee just released a statement. He wrote, writes, quote, this is a serious situation and ensuring the safety of the workers and the community is a top priority. Our understanding is that the site went into immediate lockdown in which workers were told to seek shelter and all access to the area has been closed. Inslee says the White House called him this morning to let him know what is going on at Hanford. Now, we just received a clip of video from our affiliate in the area, an official with the Hanford response, just just briefed reporters on that situation. Here's what he had to say. All personnel in the immediate area have been accounted for. They are safe and there's been no evidence of a radiological release. And also no reports of injuries at this point. This is an ongoing developing situation. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Mark. All right, Ted Land, thank you so much for the latest from our newsroom.